Hello and welcome to this crochet dinosaur tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this brontosaurus. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, the materials that you will need is a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a yarn needle, safety eyes. I'm going to be using 12 millimeters, but if you use bigger yarn than I do, then you might want to use bigger safety eyes and also some yarn. I'm going to be using light blue Premier Parfait Chunky yarn, but you can use whatever sort of yarn that you like. If you use smaller yarn, then it, the dinosaur will turn out smaller, so keep that in mind. And finally, you are going to need a good amount of stuffing. So first of all, you are going to be making the legs. So you're going to grab your yarn and we're going to do a slip knot. And then we're going to chain two, and that's how we're going to make the magic ring. We're going to do the two chain method. So chain one, and then do the second chain. And then our first chain is going to be our magic ring. So we're going to be doing our single crochets into that first chain. So for the first round, we're going to do five single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll go into that first chain. And then for round two, we're going to be doing five increases. So that's two single crochets in each stitch, and that'll take us to 10 stitches in total. Now from rounds three to five, we're going to just single crochet all the way round. So basically we're just gonna single crochet for three rounds. Once you have completed those three rounds, you have completed your first leg. So we're going to finish off that leg. So I'll just cut a small tail. And then we will pull through. And we're going to make three more of these legs so that we have four legs in total and then we'll be moving on to the body. So just three more of these legs. Okay, so after you've made all four of the legs, we are going to put those aside. And we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to begin the body. So in a moment, we'll be connecting the legs to the body, but first we have to do the first two rounds of the body. So for the first round of the body, we'll be doing eight single crochets into the magic ring. And for the second round of the body, we'll be doing eight increases, which will take us to 16 stitches in total.
So now we're going to grab our stitch marker and we're going to put it in. I use scrap yarn for a stitch marker personally. In the next round is a little bit complicated, so you'll really need to pay attention. I'm going to explain everything out loud as we go around. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our legs and you can see the first stitch of the last round, which is the lower part there. And then the last stitch of the last round, which is the higher part here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in from the inside into the first stitch of the last round. So the lower part, and we're going to go in from the inside, just like that. You're going through the first stitch of the last round. And now you can see where the tail is from the body. That part is going to be facing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next stitch of the body as if we're just continuing round. So you can see this stitch here. It's the one after the stitch marker. We're also going to put our hook through that stitch. So now our hook is through two stitches. And note that our tail for the body is facing upwards at this point. And now we're just going to single crochet through those. And now for the next stitch, we're going to go through the last stitch of the last round of the leg. So this higher part here, we're going to put our hook through from the inside. And then we're going to go into the next stitch of the body. So they are attached once again. And we're going to do another single crochet. So see that leg has now been attached. Now we are just going to do three single crochets into the body. So we're just going to go into the next stitch of the body and do a single crochet. Into the next stitch of the body, single crochet. And then another single crochet. And then we're going to grab our second leg. So just like the last one, we're going to put our hook into the first stitch of the last round from the inside. And then we're going to go into the body, into the next stitch. And we're going to do a single crochet. And then into the last stitch from the last round of the leg from the inside. And then back into the body and do a single crochet. Now we're just going to do one single crochet into the body. So just into the next stitch of the body. Now we'll grab our next leg. And once again, from the inside, we're gonna go into the first stitch of the last round. And then we'll go into the next stitch of the body as well single crochet and then the next stitch of the leg next stitch of the body single crochet and then we're going to do three single crochets just into the body one single crochet two and three and we'll grab our final leg And we're going to go into the first stitch of the last round from the inside again and into the body and then the last stitch from the last round from the inside and then finally we'll just do one single crochet into the body and that will finish off that round And this is what your legs and body should look like currently. So they're attached to this part 
And now for the next round, we're going to go around the outside. So we'll be going around the outside as if the legs are now a part of the body. So just like this. We'll also be doing some increasing, but I'll walk you along as we go. So the first stitch that we're going to go into is this one of the leg. So not the one that's attached to the body here, not that one, this one. So we're going to go into that stitch and single crochet. And then we're going to do seven more single crochets along the outside of the leg. And now you can see that this stitch is already attached to the body, so we're not going to go into that. Instead, we are going to go into these three stitches. So we'll go into this stitch first. It's not attached to the leg. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but you can sort of see there's three stitches in the middle that aren't attached to anything. And those are the stitches that we'll be going into. And we're going to do an increase into each of these three stitches. So that'll be three increases. So we'll go into that first stitch here, which isn't attached to anything, and do an increase. into the next stitch and do an increase. And then an increase into the final one. And now we're going to go into the next stitch, which is the stitch from the leg, which is not attached to the body. There should be eight stitches on each leg, which aren't attached to the body. And those are the ones that we're going into. So this one here is not attached. Let's go into that one and we'll single crochet eight times around the leg. And now you'll see here there is one stitch which is not attached to the legs and that's the stitch that we're going to go into next and we're just going to single crochet into that stitch. So we'll put our hook in and single crochet. And now we're going to go onto this leg and it should be eight single crochets in total around this leg. So this stitch is not attached right here so we'll go into that one. And now we are going to do the three increases into these three stitches here like we did on the other side. So we'll go into the body and do an increase. Into the next stitch and do an increase. And then another increase. And now we're going to go around the leg, so eight single crochets. And then our final stitch is into the one where the stitch marker is. And that's just going to be a single crochet into the body. So now you can see that the legs and body shape is starting to form. And now it'll be super easy to just go around the outside since they're all properly connected. So for the next two rounds, we're just going to single crochet all the way around the outside. So we're going to do that for two rounds.
So once you've completed those two rounds, we're going to move on to round seven. Round seven is 21 single crochets and a decrease times by two. So for round eight, we'll be doing 10 single crochets, two decreases, eight single crochets decrease, eight single crochets, two decreases, and six single crochets decrease. And that'll be written at the top of the screen to follow along. Okay, so the next round, um, I'm not going to say out loud because there's just a lot, but follow along by reading the top of the screen. Okay, so basically the idea of like a few of the rounds coming up is that you'll want the decreases to be towards the back of the body, so the opposite side. Um, as you'll notice, my hook is like further along, slightly further along than the middle, but it may depend on your tension, you could end up like over here. So as long as you like adjust to make sure that most of your decreases are at the back, and I'll specify which rounds that's for, then you should be fine. For example, in the next round, we're going to be doing four single crochets and then two single crochets decrease times six and then another two single crochets. And that's because this is slightly further to this side. So that's why we're doing four and two. But if you're right in the middle, then you can do like three and three at the end. But yeah. Okay, so the next round is just completely even on all sides. It's just two single crochets, decrease, 
times by six, which will take us down to 18 stitches. That concludes part one on this tutorial, so make sure to move on to part two if you want to complete your dinosaur.